Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Warning, there are spoilers for Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves in this content. Let's go! All right, today I want to talk about uh, the discussion that Dungeons & Dragons is having with the OSR. So I think Dungeons & Dragons, uh, the basic expert just said it. Uh, go check out his channel. He's like, D&D is not a game, it's a life brand, right? So D&D, not a game, is having this kind con- of, not by my words, by others now, right? Um, is uh, is having this conversation with OSR all the time, I think, right? And there's open discussion about this. The OSR recently came out and was like, hey, Wild Beyond the, Wild Beyond, Beyond the Witchlight, there's a character in here named Thacko, and uh, Thacko is specifically, um, he is... Uh, basically, uh, Thacko is D&D talking directly to OSR Grognards, right? And it's a, it was an interesting discussion, but this idea that D&D talks to the OSR directly is there. Is it true? A hundred percent. I definitely think D&D is having a conversation with the OSR. I think D&D knew uh, D&D as a, as a brand, as a product. It, it's constantly navigating past, present, and future problems. Right, like, and it's protecting the dragons. Oh, what does it need protection for? The 1983 uh, Satanic Panic. People cry, D and D be gone. The 2023 Manic Panic. People cry, D and D be gone. Literally, generation after generation coming to destroy the thing. Right, it's, it's very real. It's a historical record. Right, like, it, like it's there. Right, like the idea that D and D is not always constantly under attack, literally for its very existence, is ludicrous. It's not. It's not a debatable subject in my humble opinion, right? So is D&D having this conversation with the OSR? Yes, D&D is openly having a conversation with the OSR, and frankly, most of the time it's subtext, right? And I do think Thacko was a was a statement to the OSR Grognards, right? Thacko, as he existed within um, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, and if you're not aware of that, just Google it and you'll hit a, literally a thousand videos discussing the topic, right? I'm not gonna rehash it here for you. Right. Okay. So, um, and I, and yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving. All right. So in the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, Simon reaches, uh, reaches the, um, the, the sealed vault in Neverwinter where that has all the treasure that Forge Fitzwilliams has cobbled together. Right. And he's using the helm of disjunction and he needs to attune to it. Right. So in, now what's stopping him from attuning to the helm of disjunction? Elminster himself, right? So Elminster is talking from the grave, right? There's a little bit of subtext there, right? Elminster is talking to the grave to Simon Armour, his great descendant. Gary Gygax talks from the grave every single day to us. Do you hear his voice? Listen, right? Okay? So uh, so Elminster is talking directly to Simon Armour, right? And, and he's like, you cannot use the power, right? And that's what the OSR is saying to D&D. They're like, the power rests with us, right? The, the, the authenticity, the actual energy, the, the real deal thing of D&D rests with us, right? It's with 1E and it's with D&D 1E and D&D 2E and it's with Pathfinder and it's with OS, OSE, right? Old School's Essentials and it's with DCC and it's, you know, it's with Pathfinder. Right, and you guys don't have the power. We have the power. The OSR has the power, right? And you can't use the power. And the OSR is constantly shouting, right? Uh, go look at the the basic experts' latest video. Just one of the most uh, on the VTT. One of the most it, it check boxes every single OSR Grognar complaint you could possibly get, right? And just oh D D, how dare you like move forward and and progress the product into the future, right? And so the OSR is constantly squawking at D&D with every new D&D canon hard book, a hundred OS, literally, not, not an exaggeration, a hundred OSR grognards come and just spit on every book, right? Like it's just, and they're like, you don't get to use the power. You don't have the power. You can't use the power of D&D, right? We have the power. And you know what Simon Almer says to Elminster? He says, and, 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 si- and Elminster says, you, well, you cannot use the power while I live. While I live. And Simon says, you don't live. You don't live. You had your time. Now is my time. Right? 
and he jams that helm of disjunction on his head and it snaps in and he has the power. D&D 5e is the power. OSR is done, right? They are finished with having any real... OSR grognards are finished with having any real mattering voice in the conversation. The grognards are finished, okay? Their voice is being silenced because they have nothing new to say. Their time is done, right? They do not still live, right? Figuratively and for some of them quite literally, right? Like, and increasingly every day, quite literally, right? Like, and so that's the point. The power rests with D&D 5e, not D&D 1e, not D&D 2e, not bad copies of D&D OSE, which is Pathfinder, uh, D&D 3e, which is Pathfinder, D&D 1e and 2e, which is OSE, and, D and DCC, right? Their time is finished, right? They no longer live. Their time is finished, and D&D's time is now, and Dungeons and Dragons is slamming the helm of disjunction on its head and breaking the seal to a new level of success, a new level of power that D&D will be established and will have. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.